guys, it's Emma here, coming on today to talk about a very intense, difficult topic that's also quite fascinating and interesting, that is, you know, near-death experiences, what you experience during that, like seeing the light, spiritual experiences, stuff like that. Um, I'm just going to talk about my own experience. Um, I find it super interesting to hear from different people that have experienced dying and being brought back to life like what they've encountered because I mean it really is fascinating and I, I think it definitely sheds a light on you know what there is beyond this life and just you know it's not all as bleak and you know hopeless as we may think um, but you know it's, it's unknown which makes it quite scary but um, as I've talked about in previous videos I have had several near-death experiences four to be exact um but to be honest there's only one experience out of those four where i did have a very extreme fascinating like spiritual experience um so i'm going to talk about that today i really think that the main reason why i mean most of my near-death experiences have to do with overdosing right so at that point I don't know it's kind of like it just goes black I mean that that's the only way I can describe it um, I mean and you know so out of my four near-death experiences um, the first one having to do with cutting the artery in my wrist and needing 65 stitches that one it wasn't like I completely died, but I was, you know, close. But all of the other three, I did completely die. Um, and, you know, two of those were overdose, and then the other one was a heart attack. Um, and that is the experience where I did have a, I mean, I'm just gonna tell you what happened, um, just because it's, it's quite interesting. Um, it, it was very profound. So um, I've talked about this several times. Um, I will, like I have a whole video about heart attacks from using drugs, um, from stimulant use. So I'll link that down below. But um, essentially my body gave out. I had a very progressive, you know, I could, I had worse and worse symptoms over time relating to my heart not being able to work properly anymore from how much meth I was using. Um, so I really, you know, the arrhythmias, not being able to catch my breath, like chest pain, I was having all of that for quite a while leading up to this point and I didn't do anything to just try to stop and I wasn't able to moderate my drug use at all. So, um, I basically, my body was stuck in this rigid position. I couldn't like, it was impossible to like relax I'm, I was stuck like this um, and so I wasn't able to bend my limbs um, my body was just stuck is the best way I can describe it so I had just talked to my dog for 30 minutes and you know I had had to stop so many times during that walk clutching onto my chest my heart was constantly skipping beats and I wouldn't be able to breathe when that would happen and I would clutch and breathe like try to gasp for air um, and when it came to trying to get back up the stairs into my apartment, it's okay, Charlie. Come here. Hi, my dog is wanting attention. Um, <laughs> so I uh, couldn't get back up the stairs because I couldn't bend my knees. I couldn't walk upstairs. So I got on my hands and knees and I was crawling up the stairs. And that wasn't really working very well. So I. Um, I was like, it was taking every last bit of energy. It was literally like climbing Mount Everest is what it felt like, getting up one flight of stairs. Um, so I actually almost made it to the top and I fell and hung on to the top step like it was a cliff and then just let go and fell into like the middle between the two, you know, it was like a split level stairway. And I fell into the immediate, like the middle part and hit my head on like, you know, the, the wall, um, 
But I, I had a heart attack as basically as I was falling. I also think I was so stressed out, like from my heart rate was super increased from like the stress of trying to get up the stairs. So it always kind of came to a head. Um, but I mean, so as I lay there, I fell and lay there. I had at first a very brief experience of like the worst, most horrific feeling I've ever felt of impending doom. I don't know how to describe it. It was horrific. Like the most dark feeling I've ever felt in my life. And then after that, it was... <laughs> Hi. Charlie is a very needy dog, but he's the best. He wants attention all the time because he's so cute. How could you not love him? Come here. Anyways, um, after that, it was hands down the most peaceful experience of my entire life. Um, I felt this warm hug, like this warm golden sun just like wrap around me. And it was the most peaceful, wonderful feeling I've ever felt. And I knew it was the feeling of death and I embraced it. I was completely ready to go. It was like I had no fear of death. I had no, all that doom had disappeared and I was just feeling like, I didn't know exactly what it was, but it felt like, you know, my higher power calling me home. Like it felt like I was about to go beyond this life and it seemed so incredibly peaceful and I was, just completely willing and embraced it like it was not at all what I thought death would be like you know because I wasn't it wasn't an overdose death I mean it was yes I was on drugs but I hadn't you know used any drugs for probably about 10 hours before that so I have you know a crystal clear memory of this and um, it was just the warmth this amazing feeling and even though it was like I could also feel my body shutting down Cause I, at first it felt like I, I was on fire. Like my, it, my body felt like it was burning. And then I was also like shivering and jolting, freezing cold. Um, I couldn't see anything. My vision was all spotty, but I f saw this light and felt it. And I was just like, I'm ready. Please take me. I am ready to go. I didn't care anymore. I was just like, this is clearly my time to go. Um, you know, I was 22. That should have been where my story ended. But for whatever reason, it wasn't. My higher power didn't want me to be beyond this life quite yet. So uh, I can't explain to you why I survived, but um, I was quite shocked <laughs> when I woke up because I, I felt like I was gonna wake up, and, you know, wake up like somewhere else. Um, you know, I don't know if it's heaven or what it is, but I knew I was going somewhere. Um, so I was very perplexed when I woke up laying there still. Um, it's a miracle. I don't know how to describe it. Um, but yeah, I had all of the classic female heart attack symptoms and just all of the things that led up to it. It's so apparent that my heart had given me every warning sign there possibly was to give. If you don't stop using this, you know, in the excessive amounts that you are, that's gonna be it, you know? But I didn't listen to my heart, I kept doing it. And I kept doing it after that as well. Um, which is why I don't, it's just, I just don't even understand how I survived any of it. It's just, to me, it's all undeniable evidence of a higher power. So that was my experience with death. Um, it was incredibly peaceful. I'm very grateful that I didn't die that day. Um, but it was, I mean, it's just so, I've heard, you know, stories of people in car, car accidents and, you know, all kinds of things where they have that feeling where it's like, you know, you want to go into the light. You don't want to come back. You know, it's, but to me, I didn't have that moment of like a picking which path or anything like that. I just had it and fully embraced death. Um, but it was so much more peaceful than I ever imagined it being like, cause you know, I mean, I'm not particularly afraid of death considering that I've experienced it so many times, but like, it is scary because it's unknown. It's like, you know, it's not something that, you know, every, and you know, no one that has like, I mean, well, people have completely died and come back, but it's like, nobody knows what happens beyond that point. So it's scary in that way. But um, this kind of 
changed that fear a lot for me because I mean, it was very apparent to me that, you know, what I had believed before was just that past this life, that's it. There's nothing. I, I don't, I was like, you don't go anywhere. You don't like reincarnate or anything like that. You just, it's just black. That's what I believed forever. This did change that for me. I mean, I have no clue. I don't, can't really pretend to know what, what will happen after death, but that experience did show me that clearly that assumption I had was wrong because there was something going on there that I can't describe that um, it was just so peaceful. The most peaceful feeling I've ever felt in my life, laying there on those stairs, feeling like, I mean, I felt my body just peacing out. Like it was, it was terrifying for like a couple seconds realizing like I'm dying. And then after that, it was like, take me. Like it was just so surreal. Um, yeah, so that's my experience with death. Um, I, if you have, you know, experiences of your own, I would love to hear about them because I think it's, it's genuinely fascinating. Um, you know, and I'm, just, I'm grateful to be here. I'm grateful you all are here and thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment if you have any feedback, suggestions, future video ideas you'd like, just let me know. And I will see you all next time. Take care of yourselves. Bye.